I wish I could fly. I'd fly right up to that eagle. Oh, that's disgusting. The tail! The uh, film footage here in the beginning is some um, examples of uh, mayfly spinners. All mayflies share similar characteristics in their life cycle. Uh, they begin as nymphs on the bottom. They emerge into duns. The duns fly off into the trees or into the bushes where they molt several times. They then form these giant mating clusters in the air over the rifts or over the water. They mate. They fall to the water, lay their eggs, their eggs fall to the bottom, and then the mayflies lay spent flush on the water surface. They are a very, very easy food source and in big numbers for hungry trout. Generally, the falls happen late afternoon, early evening, into darkness. Uh, it's a very key time to be on the stream. If you're dry fly fishing and know that there's been a uh, mayfly hatch in recent days, chances are you're going to have a spinner fall of that mayfly with their mating swarms. In this case, it's good to know what type of mayfly and the size. One thing that most spinners have in common is body coloration tends to be brown or rusty. As uh, opposed to the done stage, they can be, they could vary in color and really you have to be much more specific but once they become spinners chances are they're either a rusty or a brown or a chocolate some something in that in that line uh, they are a huge and important food source for trout uh, they they all tend to fall in big numbers so if you happen to be out on the stream late and know that there's a mayfly hatch or has been a mayfly hatch Look up into the sky, look for the swarms, and be patient as they begin to fall down to the water all at once. And then the fun begins with the trout feeding, and they're not reluctant at all to come up. You can have lots of trout in pods, even if you have those on your stream. In big numbers, big fish, it's an exciting time to be out there. You just got to hang on sometimes real late when you think it's you're going to hang it up. It's been quiet. Just be patient. Uh, I'm using a brown peacock curl here for the body. This particular material is deadly. It's very buggy. Uh, it's a brown dyed peacock. I'm using it over the hook. I put a little glue on there to, to secure it and keep it from breaking up and falling apart. I'm also using a gray zelon for the wing and a little brown dubbing for the thorax. This is an incredibly effective pattern. Uh, I hope that you enjoy the tie. And uh, it's good to have these in, in many different sizes in your box. The other thing that I would suggest is making sure that you have a drift-free drag because these things are supposed to be spent. And if you have any movement on it, the trout are going, going to ignore it. So anyway, this is a fantastic pattern. I hope you enjoy the tie. Thank you for watching. Good luck to yours. If my words did glow With the gold of sunshine And my tunes were played On the harp on the strung Would you hear my voice Come through the music Would you hold it near 
as it were your own. It's a hand-me-down. The thoughts are broken. Perhaps they're better left unsung. I don't know. Don't really care. Let there be songs to fill the air. Ripple in still water when there is no pebble tossed, no wind to blow. Reach out your hand if your cup be empty. If your cup is full, may it be again. Let it be known there is a fountain that was not made by the hands of men. There is a road, no simple highway. Between the dawn and the dark of night, and if you go, no one may follow. That path is for your steps alone. When there is no pebble tossed, no wind to blow, you choose to lead must follow. But if you fall, you fall alone. If you should stand, then who's to guide you? If I knew the way, I would take you home. La da da da, la da da.